just realized something else that needs to be tested in the PHEV, which I never thought of, guys. Getting in, hitting the highway with a full charge, and clicking save. We've driven 80 kilometers this morning, so we're actually still using uh, power as well, as you can see. So the generator isn't running right now. So it will still go into hybrid mode, and then into generator mode, like right there. So I guess the question is, is the engine running as a generator more efficient than running the wheels over long periods? So would you be better to get in the car with a full battery on long trips where you know you're gonna run out of electricity anyway and uh, simply run the vehicle on uh, save mode? So to clarify, today's video, the numbers we'll be looking at, the gas mileage, will be the vehicle in hybrid mode so it will be using the gas engine, using any extra energy that it creates in normal hybrid mode, but we're also gonna have a full tank of electricity, which we're, we've pushed the save button. So as I've mentioned before, the vehicle is smart. It will dip into what you save if it needs it for passing, climbing hills, etc. So this is a hybrid mode test with a full tank of electricity. So we're gonna be doing 240 kilometers today, uh, just heading, uh, to do some business in the next town over. And um, I'm gonna run this vehicle in save mode the whole way there with a full charge when we left and see what our finished uh, liters per 100 kilometers is and see if it's lower than the usual seven to 7.3 that I get. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's find out. Okay guys, we're just out on the highway doing 100 clicks and I've got the cruise on, but I noticed that my braking level is on B3. How did that happen? Any other time I've been in cruise, uh, braking level two is uh, what has been set. So you tell me what's going on there. Not sure. Okay, look at that guys. We are in cruise mode and we're in B4. So I figured out what happens is whatever you have the paddles set on, if you then push the cruise button to lock it in at a, a speed, it still shows what you are on paddle wise but I don't know that it's actually regenerating. That, that uh, B4 level, I guess so. I just hit the brakes right there. So I didn't know that was possible. Um, if you just go into cruise mode, push the cruise button and lock the uh, speed in, it defaults to B2. But if you're set on any other number and the cruise button is already highlighted and you just push the set button, it will lock it in on the paddle that you have. And I looked at the um, energy monitor button and we were regenerating B4 level energy. So, learn something new. It was also pointed out to me that uh, in the beginning with this car, I thought um, using the paddles was the only way to regen um, energy. And it was pointed out in the forums, and rightfully so, that you can set your paddles to whatever B level you like, and if you step on the brake pedal, it still cycles through uh, those B5 levels before it engages the physical brakes. It uses the engine first, even when you're stepping on the brake pedal. And if you watch your inner energy monitor button when you're doing that, you can see it will go through all five levels before you come to a complete stop. So I figured that out about a month ago, but I uh, forgot to throw it in the last video. So there you go. So the nice thing about save mode is if you have more in there charged than when you push the save button, you can ride along on the highway without the generator running. It just kicked on there again, but uh, I had pushed it at 17 kilometers here, and we had more in there, so we just coasted half a kilometer and nothing was running. Okay, stop for construction again. You know the old adage, in Canada, there are four seasons, spring, winter, fall, and construction. We're in construction. I wasn't thinking this morning, guys. I went through the car wash, and I know what's going on here. We got the super duper car wash this morning with the wax, and that has made the uh, Outlander PHEV super efficient. We are, my wife doesn't agree, but this is a theory. I also wanted to say that a lot of you guys seem to be very concerned with the battery on the PHEV. And these slow numbers, um, you know, when we charge it, we're getting these numbers from the watchdog showing that it's down 0 0.01 uh, amp hours every week or second week. You can't really go by that, guys. All that's going on here is the software in the car is telling you you can go so far per trip. And it's guessing. 
I can get in the car in the morning and it'll tell me I have 47 kilometers of EV range. I can drive two kilometers down the road and that can drop down to 36 kilometers. I'll look again and say, wow, I lost 10 kilometers. It's just guessing all the time. Then I can continue to drive um, across town and coast quite a ways and it'll come back up to 42 kilometers. So the only way you can tell how far you can go on your battery, guys, is to actually monitor, push your reset button every time and monitor your distance. We've done the test to show that the tripometer works. Uh, it's exact, it's 100% accurate. So we know that works. Reset your tripometer every day. See how far you go in electric before the engine kicks on. Do that 10 times and average it out. That's how far you're going. Now, of course, to do that test accurately, you've got to drive the same route, the same speed, and have the same temperatures. Um, if you do that over the course of, I would accept 10 trips, then you're going to get an accurate number and say, I'm still getting 40 kilometers per charge. The other thing I want you guys to remember is all of the literature when we bought these cars, all of the advertising for Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV stated 35 kilometers per charge. So we are getting close to 50 kilometers on a full charge sometimes. You're getting better than they said you were going to get when you bought the vehicle. So that's my bottom line is just drive it, guys. As long as you're still getting that 35 kilometers, you're still within what they said you were going to get. For this whole trip, I have not seen the engine come on and turn orange where it's driving the front wheels. With the electric power saved in the battery pack, um, I, I have not seen it come on yet orange. I've seen the generator run and the power seems to be coming strictly out of the batteries. We've got a great big hill coming up here and I'm going to film it just to see if it does come on or if it uses battery power only. Okay, so here's the scenario guys. We are in a 70 zone, so we're going pretty slow. That means that the car has actually um, gone into just using the battery power only because we're doing 70, even though we're still on save mode. No generator running means the generator's gonna kick on because here's what's coming, great big hill. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the screen to see if it turns orange. Okay, so we're doing 90 and we're climbing a big, big hill here. It still has not turned orange. We're cresting the hill and at no point did the um, engine have to work hard enough to drive those front wheels. All right, we are halfway there, guys. 138.7 kilometers. You can see we still have the charge. Um, 20 kilometers when I pushed it. And let's check out the eco information. 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers. 45% here uh, driven on electric and 20.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So I couldn't do it guys. Uh, I just drove six kilometers through town in electric mode. I just couldn't stand running the engine when I didn't have to. So we are down to, uh, from 17 back down to 10 kilometers saved. And uh, so on the way home, we're gonna have an extra kid and an extra bag of gear. So probably 200 and some pounds. We'll see if that makes any difference, but we will have 10 kilometers in reserve, which should be more than enough if the car needs it for passing uphill climbing, etc., all that stuff. So the test should still be valid. So strangely enough, I did just see the engine kick on and go to the orange mode for driving the wheels just for about five seconds. We're in town doing 60 kilometers on a flat stretch and um, the engine kicked on. Not sure why. Just came through a little town and used four kilometers in electric, figuring I would still have seven batteries saved. And uh, we're on a nice long straight stretch here and you can see the motor is now driving the front wheels, which if you have more than 11, 12 kilometers in there, it doesn't do that. Nice long straight stretch right here. And then it directly goes back into electric mode, even though we're still in save. So 
So this car, I mean, it tries to make smart choices, but uh, sometimes I don't know. So with seven kilometers left on the trip, I'm cutting back through town and we are on electric. So like any good EV driver, I'm gonna use every kilometer in the car before we get back to the house. Um, when we get there, I'll show you the numbers and it will be, I'll give you all the numbers when we get there. There are the numbers guys, we are home. 296 kilometers, 38% EV driving, 19.7 kilowatt hours, and 6.4 liters per 100 kilometers on the way back. So if you average the two, the trip there and the trip back, it's 6.3 liters per 100 kilometers. And that, I want to mention, is with a side stop at Costco and an extra 200 pounds. Thank you, wife. So make of that what you will, guys. Those are the numbers from one trip, so not super scientific. It was almost 300 kilometers. Um, I find that my normal hybrid driving numbers without electricity in the tank are somewhere between 7 and 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, it would make sense that the car would never have to um, dip into that extra uh, uh, engine higher RPM because it's not driving the tires. My theory was that it would be more efficient because you've got that battery power there to use all of the time. Is it? I don't know. Uh, this is only one test. So here's where you guys come in. Do the same thing, guys. Uh, drive with it in full uh, battery mode when you're on the highway a couple times and see if your numbers are any better. I don't know. I need help. I can't do all the testing myself. Thanks for watching, guys.